Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dory and if you're new here, this channel is all about hiking gear, hiking tips and tricks and everything you need to know about hiking. Again, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and I hope you like this video because I'm going to talk to you what I bring to film my own videos. First of all, I want to give you guys an update about Perth and we are again Corona free. I don't know why we are so lucky, but there's like no Corona anywhere. We had one case of the UK strain and like luckily we went into lockdown for a little while and then we managed to stay on top of the infections. So yeah, I think we are very lucky and you can see behind me, that's the city. I'm in South Perth at the moment on my secret location, but I think a few of you know exactly where I am. So if you can guess it, please comment down the bottom and um, I'll tell you if you are right. All right, without further ado, let's go over what I take with me to film my hikes. Okay, so this video is going to be a part of a, I think, four part series. Uh, is in as in how do you film your hikes and how do you document and make videos like I do uh, it's very simple but it's kind of like well well it's actually not simple but once you get going you will understand why it can be simple and if you watch the whole series guys I'm gonna give you some really good tips so keep watching all right so first thing first things first what do I take with me on my hikes and what equipment I'm actually missing all right, so the first thing, and that is actually my main camera, uh, is my phone. So I've got a Samsung Galaxy S10. At the moment, it does 4K videos. It's got lots of features. It's got three lenses. So you got a close-up lens, a normal and wide lens, something like that. I am not a uh, photography expert, um, but this phone honestly gives me everything I need to shoot quality videos. And I'm thinking especially about landscapes, okay? Because you might have a really good phone, but you need the camera, you know, to, to video the landscapes exactly as you see them. And specifically 4K or even 8K now is the go. This is not a sponsored video, guys, and it's exactly what I'm using after doing a lot of research. And obviously the S10 is not uh, new anymore, but the next one up will probably have uh, the same kind of features. Similar to iPhone, iPhone has a really good camera as well. This is not a debate between iPhone and Samsung. I'm a Samsung girl, but I do work with Apple as well for work. So the second camera I bring with me is a, an action camera. Uh, I've got this one from LD and it's not the best one. Why? Because the battery life is shocking and I I am looking for a normal GoPro at the moment so um, I don't know if it's a big investment but I think it's worth it and for example if you're going over a bridge or you know you, you have to cross a river you can just dip it in the water and just make some really cool shots that I have not been able to do yet um, what I use this camera for is when I have a sketchy bit uh, then I usually I put it on my backpack so I've got a, a case a waterproof case with it but that I use the case specifically to attach it to my backpack and that way I can use it when I'm on a sketchy bit and I can still show you guys uh, that doesn't happen very often but you know what I it's super light and it's super small so I want to take it with me just in case then the third thing I take with me and from my videos you probably already know this but that is a drone Okay, I love to take a drone with me because the shots that you can take and are fantastic. But also you're in the middle of nowhere and you're probably only going to see that spot once in your life or, you know, a little bit more if you're lucky. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> so I like to take a drone and I like to take shots from the air. In New Zealand, I did take a uh, DJI Mavic Pro 2 with me. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to make drone shots there in many places um, because it's prohibited in national parks. Um, but I was still able to make some really cool shots. So for the Bibbulmun track, I took this one with me, which is the DJI Mavic Mini. Um, it doesn't have the best camera, so it's a 2.7K camera but it's got a built-in gimbal and everything like that. Um, it's super small, it weighs 250 grams, yes. And I'm super proud of it because maybe the quality isn't perfect, but at least uh, the weight makes up for it. 
So I've got that one. I usually bring a spare battery with me as well. So every battery lasts about 30 minutes of flight time. Two batteries is usually enough. And usually before you run out, you will probably get to town or something like that. But you can also charge these from the back. And I haven't tried this yet, guys, but you, you can try and charge your battery with one of the uh, power banks that you can buy. Uh, it needs to be a powerful one though. So one that can actually charge uh, large devices. All right, so the drone comes with a remote and then, and then I put everything in a pouch put it all in a bag and then of course we've got the cables right so for the drone I've got one cable to put in to plug into the wall with one cable here and I can use this cable to charge my um, Garmin InReach Mini um, and and other cameras such as um, the action camera and usually I take a spare one of these just for, to charge my other electronics. Um, if you get into town, you know, you don't usually have a lot of time to charge everything. All right, so what do I do to charge all these things? Well, I have two power banks, so two times 20,000 milliamp of power to charge my phone, my action camera, and um, I, like I said, I haven't tried my drone yet. Um, and the reason for that is because I actually crashed it on the Bibbulmun track and um, you know I still have to recover the footage but I'll show you as soon as it's ready uh, it's actually really funny but you know at the time it wasn't but it's just it's funny now okay anyway so about the power banks um, I've got two different brands not because I wanted to uh, but I had anchor first and um, and I couldn't find another anchor in Perth so I bought this signet one um, I'm happy of, with both of them, but personal preference, I prefer the Signet one because it's a little bit lighter and it's just, I don't know, it's a little bit smaller too, but it's a personal preference, okay? The other thing I bring with me to help me film my hike is a little uh, Gorilla Pod. So I don't have it with me right now because I actually broke it on the Bibbulmun track and I was devastated because, oh, I don't know how it happened, but just it just it, it was just broken so what I did uh, from that moment on is I used my phone um, and I put it on the ground or I used the branches to put my phone in between but you know what that's for another video I'm gonna show you exactly how I feel my hikes and when I look back on the first video I just wish I knew what I know now so I'm gonna teach you all about it one thing that I wish I did take on my hikes is a gimbal and I'm still looking for one. I ordered one online, but you know what? It was one of those scams that I fell for and the product that arrived was totally useless. So I'm still looking for a good one. Another thing I really wish I had on my hikes is a microphone. So right now I'm wearing this Lavalier microphone and I really hope that the sound um, has improved on my videos with this one, um, but on my hikes sometimes it's too windy to film or you know like it's just it's just such a small thing but it can improve your videos a lot like you don't really need it but I would recommend it especially if you're bringing a DSLR camera which I don't but you can bring those I, I will do another video about all the things that you need to bring on your hike because this is a personal video guys this is what I bring on my hike all the videos you see are filmed with my phone my action camera and my drone. And another thing I wanna say about the action camera is that if you can afford it, go for the GoPro or buy like a Sony action cam because they are really good. And in my opinion, they are definitely worth the price, okay? Again, not a sponsored video, but I will get one myself. All right, with that, I wish you a wonderful Sunday and I'll see you in the next video. All right, see ya, bye.